I just don't like your uterus. Don't get me wrong, your eggs are in great shape, but you have a T-shaped uterus, and that combined with your advanced maternal age, uh, it's preventing proper implantation. Why do I have this T-shaped uterus? Well, it probably has something to do with medication that was given to your mother when she was pregnant with you. We used a lot of drugs back in the 70s, which we now know can cause infertility. Infertility? Yeah, I would say that your chances of conceiving are very low. How low? Well, I don't, I don't want to assign a number to it. What would you assign it? A, a color? A nickname? A locker? <laughs> okay. Um, one in, uh, in a million? Uh, I just don't like you. Don't say that again. Come to think of it, I did take something for liver spots when I was pregnant with you, but I really don't see how that could cause any problems for your uterus. It was just a different time. They didn't warn people about side effects. Oh, they warned me. I think I might even have signed something. What? Okay, that was 30 years old. I was starting to get liver spots. Liver spots. I just hope you put this baby mania to rest. It's not mania. How many times have you tried now? Three? Nine. The last two were in vitro. Have you considered adoption? I have applied for an adoption, yes. Kate, please, don't get a black baby. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about that because uh, for a single woman, it can take about five years to get an adoption. I've just had it with all these movie stars showing off. Look at me and my black baby. Kill me. I want you to stab me with something. You know, Kate, not everyone is as tolerant of your alternative lifestyle as we are. Being single is not an alternative lifestyle. It is when you're 37. <laughs>